Welcome back, everyone. A question that I've been getting all the time is, dude, how do you play your Windows games on your Mac? And honestly, this is not just only Windows games. A lot of Windows emulators as well, you know, gaming emulators, can also be installed on a Mac. Now, it completely depends on which type of Mac you have. Do you have an Intel-based Mac or do you have a, you know, M1 Apple Silicon-based Mac? If you have an M1 Apple Silicon-based Mac, it's a little bit of a harder process. You will pretty much have to go ahead and install a software like Paris parallels or any other like remote desktop machine. That is pretty much your only option. You don't have the ability of installing Bootcamp, which is a Windows proprietary software on Windows on Mac, but you can still do a workaround with parallels. There's still a lot of games that work. There are still a lot that don't. But with something like Bootcamp, if you have an Intel based Mac, such as really all the older iMacs, all the older MacBooks, those are some really cool things. Now, with something like this, you have that option, which is really cool. So if you have an M1 Mac, then go for the Parallels option. If you have a you know Intel-based Mac, what I've done, and it's so easy, all you have to do is pretty much install Bootcamp on your specific machine. So all it requires you to do is actually open up Bootcamp, and I have a tutorial on how to do this, which I'll leave linked down in the description, but I'm going to kind of gloss over it. All you pretty much have to do is go ahead and launch the Bootcamp Assistant. So go in the search bar up top right. You want to go and click on Bootcamp Assistant. And all you want to do here is you want to go and click Continue and you want to follow the on-screen instructions. Now it's going to tell you how much you want to partition for your storage on your Mac. You know, how much you want to give to Windows. I would say at least give like about 30% of your storage, you know, that you have to the Windows machine. It The machine itself takes like 10 or 15 gigabytes. So you want to make sure you have at least that much saved. And at that point, it's actually going to tell you to download the Microsoft, you know, know ISO you know Windows 10 file so all you have to do there is go ahead and click on that link it's going to take you straight to Windows website you want to download that ISO file it's going to take a while and then once it's downloaded all you have to do is go ahead and go through the rest of the process on bootcamp select that ISO file go and click continue finish up that download finish up that partition and at that point you will actually have it installed now you can actually boot into this specific software by holding down the option key on boot up and from there you'll actually have the option of selecting either Windows or you know Mac and that's pretty much what I do and at this point you can actually install and play all your Windows games on your Mac and it is a really cool process and like I mentioned it works great for other emulators as well and whenever I'm in a pinch and I want to play some you know Windows games on my you know Mac I can do it this way and it's a really cool process for sure so that pretty much covers it up if you guys have any other questions or anything like that let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then